Good day. Welcome to the Military Tools for ArcGIS Coordinate Conversion for Analysts webinar. I'm Fred Woods, Defense Marketing Specialist at Esri. Your presenters today are Joe Bales and Derek Fole with Defense Solutions. Today you will learn how to use military tools to input coordinates, quickly converting them between several common formats such as Universal Transverse Mercator and Military Grid Reference System. I'm now I'm going to turn it over to Joe and Derek. Thank you for attending. Thanks, Fred. Military Tools for ArcGIS is a collection of essential tools that reduce the time, complexity, and ultimately the cost of performing routine analyses and creating standard products for defense, intelligence, and other industry workflows. We based our ideas off resounding user feedback and leveraged much of the newer technology in ArcGIS. We realized the importance of having essential, commonly used tools available in a single toolbar or ribbon, and that is Military Tools for ArcGIS. It consists of coordinate conversion, which converts between coordinate notation formats, distance and direction, which creates geodetic lines, circles, ellipses, and range rings, visibility, which analyzes radial and linear line of sight, and the military symbol editor which creates symbols in a what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG way in ArcGIS Pro using the new military standard 2525 dictionary renderer. Military tools exist across the ArcGIS enterprise so you have the tools you need when and where you need them. An add-in that supports ArcMap 1031 through 105, an add-in for ArcGIS Pro 1.4, and widgets for the developer edition of Web App Builder for ArcGIS 2.2. So the coordinate conversion tool in ArcMap, ArcGIS Pro, and Web App Builder for ArcGIS allows you to input or select coordinates and immediately see them converted to any number of desired coordinate notations or notation formats. For instance, if I receive a coordinate in the degrees, minutes, seconds, or DMS coordinate notation, I can output that in the military grid reference system, or MGRS, coordinate notation. I can also choose more than one coordinate notation format, for instance, adding spacing between the latitude and longitude or removing the grid zone identifier. Coordinate conversion is intended to smooth the transition between human to machine or program to program interaction. Now, Derek is going to demonstrate the coordinate conversion add-in. Thanks, Joe. So as Joe mentioned, across the intelligence community, there are several different people that deal in multiple different coordinate formats. Let's say, for example, I happen to be dealing with an imagery analyst who may deal almost exclusively with coordinates in degrees, minutes, seconds. However, I need to coordinate with another analyst in a different shop that may want those coordinates in MGRS. Now, traditionally, there's a couple ways I can handle this problem. One way may be to use a macro in Microsoft Excel that can convert those coordinates for me. Another way may be to use a separate standalone program that will convert those coordinates. A third option that we're going to talk about today is to use coordinate conversion in ArcGIS to convert those coordinates. So to start out, I'm going to go to my military tools toolbar and open my coordinate conversion pane. Once I have that open, I want to set my input coordinate format. I mentioned earlier that we're going to work in degrees, minutes, seconds. So I'm going to just check and make sure I've set that. Once I set my input format, I'm going to set a couple different output formats. I mentioned earlier that I want to work in MGRS when I output these coordinates. So I'll add an output format and I'll select MGRS and add that to my output. Next, I'm going to add another output format. And I'm going to select MGRS again, except this time I'm going to use the advanced dropdown to customize the way that coordinate is formatted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some spaces in here just to parse out the pieces of that coordinate to make it a little easier to read for the, hum for the human eye. And then I'll give that a unique name and add that as a format. Next, I'm actually ready to receive my coordinates. So I can take some coordinates and I'll copy those in as I receive them from in this example, my imagery analyst, and I'll paste those in. Once I've done that, I can press enter to convert those coordinates. And once I do that, I'll actually get a cursor 
on the map where that location is, and I'll get some crosshairs that will flash as well to show me where that location is. And there we go. And once I've done that, the last step that we mentioned earlier is we want to actually pass these coordinates on to someone else as MGRS. So I can actually select those coordinates in the output and use my Control V or right click and copy. Or I have a copy button here that will automatically take those coordinates and place them on my clipboard. And then once I'm ready, I can paste those out. I can send them to another analyst or put paste them into another system. And we've just co converted from degrees, minutes, seconds to coordinate, co excuse me, to MGRS. Now, since we've talked a little bit about receiving a coordinate and changing it to another format in ArcMap, I'm going to switch over to ArcGIS Pro, and we're going to talk a little bit about how you could extract coordinates from a map on your own. So you see here, we're working in ArcGIS Pro. I've actually added my coordinate conversion window to my map already. And I've added a couple different output formats here as well. So what I'll do is I'll activate my map point tool. And you'll see that when I move onto the map, my output window starts updating with the coordinates of whatever, wherever my cursor is. And those will actually continue to update until I right click to take that location and lock it into my output. And those coordinates will stay there until I reactivate my map point tool. Now once I've done that, if I wanted to copy out all of those coordinates, I can use a copy all feature and paste those out. Or as I showed in ArcMap, if I wanted to take just one of those coordinates, I can actually copy that out and paste that into another system, say an Excel spreadsheet where I'm tracking locations of interest. Now another thing we option is, in particular with MGRS, maybe you're always working within the same grid zone designator and the same grid square. In that case, you may not be so interested with copying over that information every single time, and you may need just your easting and northing. So we, offer, we offered the option to you can expand your coordinate and you see here that it's broken down by the different pieces of that coordinate format. So I can just copy my easting, take that, and paste that into a table of locations, and then I'll copy over my northing and paste that into my table. Now the last thing I wanted to show in ArcGIS Pro is say you're really trying to streamline your workflow of just grabbing locations quickly from the map you actually do not need to use the coordinate conversion window at all for that. As long as you've installed the military tools add-in for ArcGIS Pro, you can just right click on your map and you'll see that you have the option here to copy the coordinates from whatever location you right clicked on. So in this case I'll copy the degrees, minutes, seconds from that location and once again as we showed earlier you can take that and paste that out into whatever system you're working with or email it to a fellow analyst that you might be work working with. So we've covered using coordinate conversion in ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro. I'm now going to go ahead and turn it back over to Joe and he's going to talk a little bit about using coordinate conversion in Web App Builder for ArcGIS. Thanks, Derek. All right, the coordinate conversion widget has much the same functionality as the two add-in tools. Uh, as a user in a deployed web app like this one, you just have to open the widget and start querying points. It still has all of the other functions as well, such as copying all, um, configuring your inputs and outputs, adding another notation format zooming to your point and copying a portion of the coordinate if you haven't installed or used web app builder for ArcGIS before the directions are pretty easy to follow 
once you've installed it, if you've downloaded military tools, just extract the widget folders, coordinate conversion, distance and direction and visibility, to the widgets folder at Web App Builder, Client, Stem App, Widgets. Paste them in here and they'll show up in your widget menu when you actually start to configure your app. So to um, create a new uh, uh, a new app, right? All you have to do is you know open up Web App Builder for ArcGIS, and it'll it will immediately give you the option to create an app, and then you can go straight into um, selecting a theme, style, and a layout. You can immediately add data if you wish out of your web map. To add a widget, all you have to do is go to the widgets pane and add a widget. Once you've pasted them in, they'll show up in that folder in um, in the browser or in the uh, file explorer. It shows up here in this menu, right? So you select coordinate conversion, and you'll immediately go to this coordinate conversion configuration pane. Here you can set the default zoom scale and the notations that will show up as soon as you open this up. Right. Any user can add all of these, but these are the ones that would show up right out of the box. You say OK, and that's it. Um, you can change how any of the other widgets or the app itself is configured, and you've, you've already created an app. So to share it, you can save it locally uh, to Web App Builder for yourself or any other user of that Dev Edition instance. But if you're using a personal computer instead of a server, it might, always be a, might not always be available. So a better workflow is to export it as a template to your portal. So in this configuration pane, you can actually change all of the app properties and the widget properties and um, say export either to local server, which is going to stay on your Web App Builder Dev Edition instance, or update your, um, you can send it to your portal. So when you do that, it will show up in uh, your content and then you can share it with a group. So here I've shared it with the National Security Web Application Templates group. And so in, um, in the portal I can set that group as a, as a repository for all of my app templates that I've created in Web App Builder for ArcGIS. So in the um, portal settings it's under the map pane or map tab and then the configurable apps option. How that shows up is in a web map, um, I simply have to click share, create a web app, and then in the configurable apps tab, I can find my template that I've already shared. So we can preview it to make sure that it's working correctly. And coordinate conversion is already there, already working, it has all the same functionality. We just talk, talked about and demonstrated the coordinate conversion tool. This year we look forward to continuing to improve military tools for ArcGIS by enhancing current capabilities like batch coordinate conversion, increased notation support, and improving the dark theme experience in ArcGIS Pro. We are also adding the gridded reference graphic, GRG, and grid overlay widgets currently available as separate downloads on the solutions website. Please join us in future webinars as we dive deeper into how you can use military tools as an analyst or developer. You can register at go.esri.com slash military tools. In those webinars, we'll show you how to configure the tools, different ways to use them in everyday workflows, and how you can open and modify them to your exact specifications. In addition to military tools for ArcGIS, you can find dozens of templates, maps, apps, and tools designed to enhance your capabilities at solutions.arcgis.com. Our goal is to help you make the most out of your investment in ArcGIS, and we do this by validating workflows with you, leveraging the best technologies for the job, and building fully documented, fully supported, and open source templates you can tweak to meet your specific organizational needs. Fred has some administrative notes at the end, but right now we'd like to answer your questions. 
We'll start with the questions you asked during the presentation, but feel free to ask some more now. All right, thank you, Joe and Derek, for your demonstrations and presentation. It's quite compelling to uh, work with the military tools uh, workflow there. So we have a question from Clarissa. It says here, does, the to does this tool have option to use state plane? Okay, uh, okay, Fred. Um, so coordinate conversion um, was actually developed for users that are working with a geographic coordinate system based on WGS 1984. I believe state plane is uh, NAD83. So at this time, the answer would be no. Um, we do have geoprocessing tools available in the military tools toolbox and in core tools that you could do that with. Um, so th that no is just on the coordinate conversion pane that we we're talking about. Um, and we do, we are targeting doing that for a future release is being able to use um, spatial ref different spatial references besides um, WGS 1984. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, Derek. Uh, I have another question here from Eric. Uh, you've shown, hold on a second, you've shown how to interactively convert coordinates, but is it possible to convert coordinates uh, stored in a table? Okay, Eric. Um, using the coordinate conversion um, pane, right now we're only doing single coordinates. We are going to do batch conversion of coordinates in a future release. Right now, if you had a table of multiple coordinates, you could actually use coordinate conversion tools contained in the military tools toolbox to do that. All right. Thank you, Derek. And then Thea, and I know Thea, hi. Uh, can the coordinate conversion widget be used with the DHS portal? Is it currently available for this portal? I'm going to say... They have to probably have to go back to DHS and ask them if they want to if they can upload the the tools and install them on the portal. It, they should just work. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's correct. Um, yeah. Um, that would be a question for um, your administrator. If they have installed the military tools widgets, um, then yes, um, it might not be uh, the web app builder dev edition instance may not be might not be available to you. But if you ask your uh, site administrator, they could probably help you with that. And if they don't have it, just give them this website and then they can download it and install it themselves. Thanks for the question. I have one here from Dan. Can you batch process coordinates, uh, sorry, uh, i.e. Excel spreadsheet with many different coordinates, 10 to 50? Dan, we're actually yeah. targeting that for a, a future version. We're going to have we're going to support batch conversion. Um, at this time, you'd have to use the military tools toolbox, uh, and we've got some geoprocessing tools in there that could help you. Okay, and then from Nicholas, does batch conversion mean there will be the ability to convert an entire table with certain coordinate formats to another format? Yes. Yeah, as long as the coordinate formats are supported, yes. Cool. And from uh, Jay Tessier, is there a version that 10.3.1 portal can use? That's for military tools. Are you talking, you're right, in Web App Builder, right? The widgets. Um, I don't recall which version of Portal is supported with 2.2, but Web App Builder Dev Edition 2.2 is the one that um, you'd be targeting. So if 10.3.1 Portal is supported by Web App Builder Dev Edition 2.2, that is, then yes. Sorry, that's kind of a fake answer. We can look that up. Scott, this... Um, Scott's question is, why isn't this available with non-military users? Scott, it's totally available uh, for non-military users. Uh, it is called Military Tools for ArcGIS based on the fact that those workflows that we were describing um, really came from the defense industry. But, uh, I mean, if you have need to use coordinate conversion or distance and direction or view shed analysis in your non-military workflow, these tools are absolutely useful to you, I'll, in I'll, my opinion. Yeah. 
one other note about that um, to build on what Joe said. We actually do offer coordinate conversion and our other two components of the add-in as individual pieces if there if you wanted just the coordinate conversion aspect of military tools those are available on our solutions pages which is solutions.arcgis.com and then you would go to the defense area when you're there or um, from Esri downloads okay so we have some other questions here I'm gonna go with one here from Tom uh, let's see here so only WGS GS 84 is supported now no local datum for other systems international 1909 Heret, for example so that is that is correct right now Tom from ECTA I joined in late so if this has already been answered I'll view the recording can we use coordinate conversion tool on mouse move so that it converts the coordinates as the mouse moves yes you um, absolutely can um, when you activate your map point tool from the coordinate conversion window, it will actually be updating those coordinates as you pan around your map, and it will continue to update until you click to lock in those locations. So if you did have a very steady hand in, a, in an environment where your mouse will not wiggle at all, if that was the workflow that you chose, you could just stop your mouse and then move it again and get those coordinates. So I guess the short answer is yes, they update until you click to lock in those coordinates. You can also uh, use the core software, ArcGIS Pro and ArcMap both have that coordinate display down at the bottom. And as a matter of fact, um, Web App Builder does as well. Uh, and then in Pro, you have the ability to right click and copy those coordinates as you move around. Okay, I have a follow on question from Scott. Here said, would batch allow export to file or database? Uh, I, b I believe both, um, and as I mentioned, so we, we're still designing what that workflow and that experience will be in coordinate in the coordinate conversion pane, the add-in. If you were to use the actual GP tool, then the answer to both would be yes, you could export to a file or a table in your database. And I have another question from Eric here. Will you offer support for additional coordinate notation formats yeah we're targeting a future version um, to increase our notation format support so yes yeah, so we're looking at adding more formats and increasing the um, how robust the notation is okay I have another question here it says can I connect coordinate conversion to other components of military tools for ArcGIS? That's a good question, Fred. Um, besides copying and pasting, um, you know, the output from one tool into the input to another, uh, the military tools toolbox offers a lot more functionality to um, run different tools on the same points, right? So if you um, you know, wanted to batch convert a bunch of coordinates for, you know, specific points, um, you know, you could output, you could batch convert that, and then you could use those as, you know, the the, the centers of your range rings, for instance, or, uh, or something like that. Um, but beside, but, you know, being in the pane itself and, you know, right clicking and saying something like, send this to distance and direction, I don't think you can, we're not looking at that right now. I want to thank everyone for attending. Uh, hopefully you received some great information here. And remember uh, to visit the registration page where you uh, clicked on to get, find out more information and to register. That's where the recording will be at shortly. Thank you very much. And this concludes our webinar on coordinate conversion. Thank you all for attending. Appreciate your time.